very close now folks to the gate and going down into the village. It's a beautiful day and I've been right the other side of that hill by the way. Right the other side and walked up the other side of that wood right over there. And I've come all the way along the drove. Enjoying every single minute of it. The hills in the distance shrouded in a plume of some sort. Very quiet. I saw a group of about four children and an adult, I think. A man and a woman, then another man and a woman, then another man and a woman, then a man, woman and a child. But all spread out, not together. And a bloke on a bike. One man on a bike. Now I can see the gate, right down the bottom there, Crocombe Gate, right down there, there it is, somewhere near there I shall stop for my cheese and tomato, I shall let check the time. The last time I looked at my watch, was it quarter past twelve? It was a long time ago, because I decided I didn't want it to dominate me. But I'd already decided that we would have a gentle walk, a quiet walk. And we didn't matter if we didn't do Bicknoller today, even though we got time to do it. There's plenty of time, there's lots of buses. I can't say the same about the trains. So, and there's at the moment, there's a bus every half an hour. So if I miss one, I haven't really got long to wait. So this is a conversation starts bringing in public transport folks. I think one of the first times I did this, I had Alberta, and I walked from Holford. I was that was that was my mission. I walked to Holford. I walked down and did the church, and then I walked back. And I can remember it was baking hot that day. I had to use one of my t-shirts as a headscarf. And I walked back and I, do you know what, I loved every minute of that. And I've got that on video. I've got that on video. It's one of my saved ones. And um, I think I even had this t-shirt on. Or one, or a sister t-shirt on, on that day. Yeah. So at least we've got a lot of vitamin D today. Um, not many flowers I noticed this time of year, and the heather did look a little bit faded, I must admit. So it must be on the turn, the um, heather. Yeah, no big hairy cows today. And there's... I'm saying that's the gate. There could be another gate. You know, I mean, sometimes they go on and on these droves. You know what I mean? It might not be the one. I spent the weekend. One of the reasons I like coming out in the week is because you haven't got hordes of people walking about. You hear that wind? The wind is talking to us, welcoming us to the open air. That's quite a breeze, and it'd be needed if I was walking to Bitnuller. I'd need that to keep me cool. Look at all these. See, this is one of the main areas the kids like walking along. Their little feet. But Sophie and Sidoni have done that. Like I said, this might not be the place, but we're very close, I think. Depends where the road is. There might be another walk yet. I, I never remember because I don't do it very often. So I tend to forget. But all those hills all over there I've walked. I've walked them. 
I've walked them. There might be just another little walk through, I think, to the next gate. This isn't the main, this isn't the one, because the road's not going down, is it? Wherever the road goes down, no, it's not here. We've got a little bit more of a walk, Shell. Just through that bit there. So, it's a shame there was no horses, no little ponies to see. Usually, no animals at all. So we've come to the end of the drove, everyone. We've come to the end of the drove road. Back through there, look. I'm going to turn off and take a picture. I'm going on down through there, just a little bit more till we get to the Crocombe Gate. Which is where I'm going to look at my watch, where I'm going to have my cheese and tomato. Then we're going down into the village possibly stopping at the church and then going to get the bus and if the shops open we might get an ice cream as well over and out everyone this is Sheila on the 5th of September 2023 this is probably like something like the eighth video of today I would have thought might be more right then so I'm saying goodbye to the gate the post that's the way back if I wanted to go to Bicknoller, that way, right? Or Crocom, the other way round. But I've decided I want to walk down the hill because it's much more fun walking down than up. And then past the church. I don't want to leave really. I just feel my dude is all over the place here. And, uh, yeah. Just turn up. It's like quite busy this road. That's the only problem. Do a little bit of video and going down a road with gorgeous scenery around me, but also quite fast driving cars. Now you never at one time you hardly saw a car, but people use it as a rat run. They use it as a rat run. They just use it to drive from one side of the Quantops to the other. They're not actually coming up here for having a nice time or anything. You know. Bye hills. Jude might, she might come down this hill with me I think. She might want to protect me a bit and then she can go whacking up that way. She doesn't really want me to go but oh, I have to. I mean the reason I'm doing this Jude is because I've got to get the bus. I want to walk through the village, maybe stop at the church. It's an alternative thing for me to do. I've walked down here and up here in the past, believe me I have. Um, I might get my hat out in a minute. I'm getting ready to get out of the way because the cars are moving. They're moving. I don't know if it's steep like this all the way. I, I know it is steep, but you imagine I, I've walked up this. And I haven't recorded, I don't know if I've ever recorded it as such. Not like I will be today. I don't know if I'd done it with a Sony, for example. Was it before the Sonys? I'd have to have a look back in the video diaries. But when the cars aren't about, no, it's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely, peaceful. It was an old track once. But now it's like a road, actually. It used to be like a track. It's grown into a track, a road. Now where I came up Stout Lane earlier, let's hope they never turn that into a track either, like this. You've got to keep some of these old tracks. I've got to be careful, because there's nowhere to walk out of the way. 
especially when I come to a bend now. I'd have to stand. But right, here's one coming now. I'd have to stand. Oh yeah, put a snake down there. In fact, I'm walking in the middle, so I'm not sure which way to go. I'm just recording a bit because this shows how dangerous it can be. I haven't recorded all the cars that have come past me, by the way. I've got to make sure they can see me. You're supposed to walk towards the traffic, you see. But of course there's no shell there's no shade this side. You know, they even have an ice cream van up there, you know. It takes, it's a lot quicker going down. And it's lovely. It's lovely going down, isn't it? I don't get indigestion going down. But it's still a long way to go yet. Now I was able to do a lovely leisurely walk all the way down across, I mean, the avenue of trees. Enjoying video and taking photos using the a, using this camera as a thing as well. There's one gone by. See, even the cars find it steep. It's well known this hill for its steepness. But what they did when they widened it a bit, they should have left a bit of a, I'm sure there used to be, out on the top there for example, I got a feeling there was once a path and I think I've actually walked it. But it's very overgrown that, very risky to walk anything like that because falling or ticks. Right, I'm going to turn off now, folks. I'll come back on again in a minute.